Am I the asshole for wanting to prioritize myself on my first Mother's Day? This coming Sunday will be my first Mother's Day as a mom, after three years of infertility and multiple miscarriages. I think my history may be clouding my judgment here and making me selfish but, at the same time, I'm having a hard time seeing how I'm wrong. I'm hoping you guys can give me some clarity. All I want to do for Mother's Day is spend the day with my husband and baby and go for a nice lunch at my favorite restaurant. This has apparently pissed everyone off. My mother wants us to drive 1.5 hours to spend Mother's Day with her. I really don't want to spend three hours in a car with a five-month-old in one day. My mill wants us to have lunch with her before she goes and has dinner with her mother. My husband says we have to see his mother on Mother's Day and, while he's annoyed that she is only available to see us for lunch, says we will have to plan the day around her availability. She does not want to go to the restaurant that I want to go to, and we can't go to that restaurant for dinner because of the baby's bedtime. Maybe I'm being selfish but I feel like this is my first Mother's Day and we should do what I want and everyone else can suck it up. My husband thinks I need to compromise and that we can have a perfectly nice lunch that celebrates both me and his mom somewhere that we both like. My mom is upset that no version of our Mother's Day plans involve her. I finally broke down and told everyone that I will be going to my favorite restaurant with the baby and that they can all go do whatever they want. Everyone is calling me selfish and overdramatic. Am I the asshole? Good for you not the asshole and you're not selfish. I'm honestly shocked that your mother and your mill aren't more understanding. Also, congrats on becoming a mom enjoy your first mother's day, don't let them bring you down you deserve it. I can't believe the tug of war I'm reading, OP you are not the asshole. The very first year I was a mother and yes I had a terrible pregnancy and high risk delivery, but nowhere near the struggles you had to endure, my mother called and asked me what I wanted to do to celebrate Mother's Day. When I asked her for her opinion, she cheerfully said, I'm the grandma, now you are the mother. I loved her for that. You are the mother this day. Grandmas can wait. Congratulations op. X200B. Edited for clarity. My mill tried this after my son was born. I told her you've had 40 mother's days and this is my first. I'll be doing what I want. Luckily, husband backed me up and we had a lovely day at the zoo. Oh is everyone calling you that? Well everyone can have a great big cup of STFU and you can tell them we all said so ha huh, not the asshole you are a mother too. I sometimes wish that there were a grandparents day so that when a woman becomes a mother she can be relieved of her duties and be the focus of the attention same for the dads on Father's Day. Stand your ground and if possible post this on a meetup mommies group or something seeking like-minded women to start a new tradition. Please update us after MD so we know how your day was. And blessings to your new motherhood. Not the asshole you should be able to celebrate your first Mother's Day how you want to. If Mill and your mother really want to spend the day together so bad they should be coming to you, not the other way around. You are the one with the five month old. BS to mom and Mill. Spend your first mother's day with husband and kid. Husband should have your back, not Mill's. Not the asshole. And what will happen when OP is ready to have Thanksgiving at their own home? Christmas at their own home. At what point is it okay to do either? Not the asshole. It's Mother's Day, not Grandmother's Day. Fuck em. I was very much into my first Mother's Day it felt very special, and the first one was important. When my daughter had her first baby, I told her that she gets priority as the latest generation mother and same with Father's Day. I didn't want her stressing about making my day special and ignoring her important place. Not the asshole everyone should be celebrating your first Mother's Day as a mom, especially given your journey to get there. Take the entire day to do whatever you want to do, and tell everyone else to buzz off. They had their turn so you deserve to be celebrated without having to worry about anyone else this year. The grandmothers are being assholes for real but the person who sucks the absolute most is your husband and he should be ashamed of himself. He is the one who should have your back. 
The fact that he doesn't and is still telling you to compromise about this and making you worry about in the first place tells me you have two children and not just the one you think you have. There sounds like there's a lot of pressure on you as a new mum. I can't believe both mothers are demanding you go out of the way to spend the day with them. Enjoy your favorite restaurant with your baby, hopefully hubby sees sense and joins you. Not the asshole. Not the asshole. Moms who are still actively raising kids should get first priority in Mother's Day plans. Not the asshole. You are a mother. It's your first Mother's Day after suffering years of infertility. You should do what you please. Send them a card or something if you desire at most and do what you want. You and the newborn are now priority. Not the asshole. This is my first Mother's Day as well, and I made it super clear to my husband that it's my day, not hers. She's had 30 years of being a mother, I've had 3 months. We will see her Thursday and give her a gift but Sunday is completely my day. Not the asshole why can't you celebrate your and mill on Saturday? Not the asshole. Send them some flowers and a card, and maybe FaceTime them each briefly when the baby is awake. Make your own tradition you deserve it. Not the asshole. Just don't go. Your mother and Mill can travel to you and your infant for one single day if it's that important to them. And your husband is being unreasonable. He gets to decide the plan for Father's Day. Not the asshole. Fuck them all, do what you want. You made a literal human this year, you deserve to have a frigging lunch. Not the asshole. What you described is absurd. Your husband needs to grow a spine and both grandmas need to check themselves. Selfish you aren't doing what they want you to. Overdramatic you aren't doing what they want you to. I would recommend that you begin doing what you want or you will have a terrible life. And boy will it seem long. Not the asshole. Not the asshole here I am 19 years into mothering and somehow my mom who hasn't had a child home in 10 years seems to think we need to focus the holidays around her. She never spent one mother's day with her mom or mill once she was a mother. Op, please establish your tradition right now and don't allow them to guilt you into making them think the day is about them. I saw an idea someone posted about inviting them over to visit you and the baby on Saturday and that's a fantastic idea. They might not like the idea, but that doesn't mean it's a bad idea. Hang in there op, you've got this. Not the asshole. Why can't they compromise and do what you want to do, since you are the one with an infant? You tell him to have fun with his mother. You are going to your favorite restaurant for lunch. You aren't seeing your mother. It won't kill him to not see his. Have him put a card in the mail tomorrow. Not the asshole, and this is the perfect year to set the boundary. Excitedly remind them that they have graduated to grandparents there are all kinds of kitschy products with which to do this and tell them that grandparents day is the first Sunday after Labor Day. Talk to your husband and ensure he has the day off, then plan something for then. Not the asshole. As a new mom you should get priority. How would your husband feel if instead of doing what he wants on Father's Day you plan an entire day around his fill? As someone who has been a mom for 22 years and has absolutely never gotten to do what I wanted on Mother's Day, do what you want my daughter was three weeks old on Mother's Day and I had to go to brunch with my mom then go visit both grandmas on my husband's side. I hate Mother's Day and I would say 98 of that is because my mom essentially told me when my daughter was little that I'd get to enjoy Mother's Day when my kids were grown. Not the asshole. Up all of us here at Reddit hereby give you permission to stop worrying about other people's feelings. Recovering from being a people pleaser is hard, but it gets easier each time. Not the asshole. I'm confused by all the Mother's Day posts. Like, once you have kids of your own, your mothers are no longer top priority. Send flowers or a card, but the older mothers don't run the show at this point. Jesus on my first Mother's Day, my mom went out and got me a charm bracelet from my one month old and flowers, and her, my bro, and stepdad decorated the house. 
I had my kiddo solo via fertility clinic. My mom was so happy I was getting my first Mother's Day, and she was a grandma for the first time on Mother's Day. You are not being selfish. You're honoring your journey, the pain, the strength, and your joy that you are a mom after so much. Not the asshole mama. Not the asshole. Stand your ground and don't let any of them make you feel guilty. When your mom, husband or mill criticize your plans, don't get angry or defensive, just say I'm sorry you feel that way and let the conversation die. You've made your decision and you're looking forward to an intimate day with your family. Do make plans to see your mom and mill when it's convenient. Not the asshole. Mother's Day belongs to my wife the mother of our child. We do whatever she wants to do. When you have kids you really have to prioritize your wants, needs and boundaries. How does your husband want to spend his first Father's Day? If you tell him you have to see your father on Father's Day is he going to drive the three hours or is he going to want to do things he loves with his family? Not the asshole. These people are being pretty self-centered. What the fuck is wrong with everyone in your life? Not the asshole, op. The only way I can see your husband, mother and mill not being boneheads about the new mama post-infertility gets to spend her first damn Mother's Day basking in the glow of a dream come true is if they're all secretly planning some kind of surprise for you, and even that would be annoying as hell because it doesn't take what you want into account. Glad you stood up for yourself and I hope you have a gorgeous day with your bub.